Welcome once again, Grapple fans, to your regular Saturday lunchtime helping of professional wrestling. Coming up later, that British title fight. But with the contestants already on their way in, why not take a front row seat with your commentator, Kent Walton. Yes, indeed. With the British title, just a little later on. Right now, though, at the St. George's Hall, Bradford, we welcome you to a tag team time. Right from the start, tag match. Mal Kirk, Scrubber Daly versus Big Bill Clark and Gloucester Gladiator. More about it now from Ray Plunkett, your MC. This is a tag team elimination contest. The winners to meet next week, Big Daddy and the College Boy. This contest is of a duration of 20 minutes, two falls, two submissions, two knockouts, or two disqualifications to decide the winners. Firstly, on my left in the blue corner from Boston in Lancashire, Big Bill Clark. And his partner this evening, ladies and gentlemen, from Church Down in Gloucestershire, making his television appearance debut, Lee McConnan. And their opponents, ladies and gentlemen, presented by Charlie McGee. First of all, the fiery Midlander Scrubber Dally. And his partner, the Pitman Hercules, King Kong Cook. And your referee for this contest, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Emil Polby. Yes, thank you very much, Ray. That's, uh, Ray is from Norwich. First time we've seen him on the small screen as an MC. Ray Plunkett. And he's introduced the really big fellas here. Matt, Mel Kirk, King Kong Kirk, of course, there with a the white uh, elbow protector. Scrubber Daly from Nuneaton, his partner. There he is with long hair. And their opponents, Big Bill Clark from Boston, Lancashire, at 18 stone. And to the leotard. And the young fella, 19 years old, 14 and a half stone, Gloucester Gladiator, they call him, is Lee McConnor. And he's back to us now. I think we're going to see a lot more of him in the future. Seconds away for the first session. Emil Poil from Heaton Moore, the referee for this tag contest, and it's Kirk versus Clark. Kirk with the tights and the white knee protectors, as well as the elbow protectors. Yes, let me see. Kirk is sweating already, he's only just started. Still Kirk versus Clark. Nice work, Irish work there on Kirk. He's not bad, but he's the 23 stone two. Clark a mere 18 stone. A tag. Kirk tags him. It's Trubber Daly from Nuneaton. Also above the 22 and a half stone mark. Clark stays in to face him. Well, this should be quite a warm up contest here at uh, the St. George's Hall, Bradford. Leading up, of course, to the main part of the afternoon for the British heavyweight title, which is vacant. Left vacant when it's relinquished by Pat, the bomber Pat Roach. It's a pretty good preliminary contest here. A tag, I think it's the first time we've ever started with a tag. Kirk on the tag. And the 
ahead. In comes Clark again against Kurt. And a young fellow, the first time an 18 year old, and he tries to drop kick Kurt. Doesn't have too much effect, those two. Toby has better luck the third time. Meantime, Kurt's got him in the corner, and the boy is in trouble. It's his first appearance on television. Another drop kick attempt. Inside of the forearm of Kurt there. This 19-year-old boy, Lee McConnell, not having too good a time in his first televised appearance. Drop kick which didn't reach the beyond the stomach. Crotch hold and slam by Daly. And he might even splash him from here. And the referee public warning to Daly. First public warning to Scrubber Daly. Inside of the forearm, is still on this. Lee McConnell is lost a gladiator. He comes from uh, Church Down, near Gloucester. And it's a crutch hold and slam now, again by Daly. Throws him rather than slams him. In comes Kirk against the boy from Gloucester. The big question here is whether Lee McConnell of Gloucester could get back to his own corner to tag his rather larger partner in Lincolnshire, Big Bill Clark. And he's made it. Flying tackle attempt by Clark. Inside of the forearm again. And the head butt to the side of the head. but I'm not sure it's wise to let the young lad in against this man. One, one head buck could finish him. <laughs> He's going to try with all his might, but he doesn't have too much chance, I'm afraid. I'd like to see this lad, Lee McConnell, in a solo bout sometime soon. I'm sure we will. A bodybuilder. Only been training for a year, but has made substantial gains. And he's going to enter competitions, I understand, in 1987. But uh, he's not going to have too much, too much change out of Mal Kirk, I'm afraid. Public warning, Kirk. King Kong Kirk receives his first public warning. So a crutch hold and slam to him. But he again doesn't follow it down, he uses the foot. And this is how he got a public warning last time, right in front of the roof, and he's got his second Scrubber one Daly now. receives his second and final public warning. So Daly's final public warning, another one, and he's leaving his partner, Mal Kirk, all by himself in his corner. Which maybe you won't be too pleased at. In comes Kirk now against the young lad, Lee McConnell. And well, he's got one public warning already, on his way to the second if he does that. 
caught the inside of the forearm as we from the corner. Got hold and a slam. And in comes Kirk with a Ooh, beautiful little team there. And trouble for the lad McConnell as Kirk goes into the lead. One fall to nil. Just seven and a half minutes. The first ball in seven minutes and 31 seconds to Scrubber Daly and King Kong Kirk. So there they are with the first uh, pinfall on their side in seven and a half minutes of this 20 minute tag. But of course, two falls to decide this one, or two falls, or two submissions, or two knockouts, two disqualifications. And we've only got one fall up to now. Let's see what happens as we start the second session. Seconds away for the second session. Well, Clark is starting and he's trying to start in, but he'll never get away with it, Bill Clark. He's got to let his partner start against Kurt, the man who just forced him to the ropes and got the first fall with a, a guillotine. Held him down. Now if Kirk does it again, of course the bout's over. That's his manager, Charles McGee, outside the ring there with the writing all over. And in comes Kirk again on Lee McClellan. Daly now tags, and it's Daly having a go at the lad. lad. But it looks like Bob Clark in the far corner on the right that will have to help his tag partner as soon as he possibly can here, but he's getting the worst all the time for the two big men. Naturally. the same move on the corner posting as Kirk did before. Somehow he's got to get back to his corner. Now the Clark Golden slam and Denny waiting to go down on top of him. A splash and Clark worries his head in his hands there thinking he'll never get up from this. Eight. Now he's not going to make it. It's a knockout. So it's an easy win by a fall and a knockout to Kirk and Daly in just 10 minutes, 23 seconds of this tag contest. But in comes Big Daddy. Who has something to say about this? Well, this is the man, along with his tag partner, Peter Collins. They're meeting the winners of this, Kirk and Daly in a couple of weeks' time. will meet the winners of this tag you just witnessed, Kirk and Daly, very shortly on television. And now, back in October the 18th, we saw Ray Steen and Jodhia Singh fight for the vacant British heavyweight title. Result, a draw. The rematch is right after this break. <laughs> 